Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I'm now answering question number two from the Pure Mathematics P3 paper from the International A Level at Excel um, June 2023 exam. And this question here is about logarithms and this particular aspect of logarithms where you deal with um, these type of log graphs, straight line graphs de dealing with logarithms is something which you won't find in the older P uh, C3 or C34 core papers. It's something that was introduced with the new P3 syllabus. So you won't find these in the older legacy papers. So um, you won't find that many questions on them from those. Uh, so this is something which um, is relatively new in the syllabus. Now it says here, um, figure one shows the linear relationship between the log to the base 6 of t and log to the base 6 of x. The line passes through the points 0, 4 and 2, 0 as shown. So we got to find an equation linking log 6, log to the base 6 t and log to the base 6 x. That's what we've got to do first. So what we see here is a straight line. And a straight line... Um, and we have the, the y-intercept and we also have the x-intercept. We have two points on the line and we have the y-intercept of this line. Now we know straight lines, the general form of the equation of the straight line is y equals mx plus c. Where m is the gradient or the slope, some people call it. And c is the y-intercept, the place where it crosses through the y-axis. x is zero, as you can see. Now, what we can do here is we can find the value of m and c. Okay. Our y is basically going to be represented by log to the base 6 of t. Our x is whatever's on this x-axis, which is basically represented by log to the base 6 of x. I'll just put that arrow there because that x is just representing the, the x in our formula. So now what we need to do is we need to find what m is, which is the gradient, which we can find using these two points. It's the change in y, which is 4 minus 0 divided by... 0 minus 2, which gives you 4 over negative 2, which is negative 2. So we know the gradient is negative 2, so this part is going to be negative 2. Okay, and the y-intercept we can see is 4. All right, it goes through 4 on the y-axis, as we're told. So this part is 4. So we can replace y with the log to the base 6t. Okay, so I'm going to write the, the what I need here. So we know the gradient is a negative 2. We know the, gradient, the, the y-intercept is 4. We know we have y equals mx plus c. So m is log to the base 6t. So we have log to the base 6t um, equals minus 2 log to the base 6x plus 4. Okay, so that's the equation. That's part one. The equation linking log to the base 6t and log to the base 6x. Now we've got to do part two. Let me make a bit more space down here for that. Um, Part 2 says, hence, meaning using this equation we just found, um, find the exact value of t when x is 216. So we replace x with 216 and we see what t is. So we have log to the base 6 of t equals minus 2 times log to the base 6 of 216 plus 4. Now I know that log to the base 6 of 216 is equal to something, let's call it b. I know that this is the power that you raise 6 to to get 216. 6 to the power of b is equal to 216. I know that this is 6 cubed. Okay, if you're, if you're not sure about that, you can just put it in your calculator. You can say, okay, log to the base 6 of 216, and you're going to see it's going to come out as 3. So we can just put that in the calculator if you want to. But if you know your cube numbers, you'll realize that that's the same as 6 cubed. And this is what this is. So we're going to say that log to the base 6 of t is equal to minus 2 times 3 plus 4. Minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2. So log to the base 6 of t is equal to negative 2. And what does this mean? This is the base. This is the power. This is the result. We know that if we have something in index form, a to the power of b equals c, okay, you can rewrite that in the form log to the base a c equals b this is the power this is the base this is the result a to the power of b equals c so 6 to the power of minus 2 equals t so we can say therefore that t equals 6 to the power of minus 2 which you can write as 1 over 6 squared which is 1 over 36 so t equals 1 over 36 that's the exact value of t when x equals 216 so we've completed 
A part one and A part two. Okay, here's A part one and here's A part two. All right, then it says find an equation not involving logs linking t with x. So we have to basically take this log equation and take the logs out of it. So log to the base 6t equals minus 2 log to the base 6x plus 4. So in order to do this, what we need to do, or what method we could use, there's different methods that people use actually for this, but what I like to do is bring the log terms together, okay? So what I'm going to do first actually is I'm going to, yeah, so I'll do log to the base 6 of t plus 2 log to the base 6 of x is equal to 4. Now I want to combine these two log terms together. Now I can do that once I use the power law and write this on top of there. So I have log to the base 6 of t plus log to the base 6 of x squared equals 4. Once now I have them written in this form, they're to the same base, I can combine these together using the addition law. So I can say this is log to the base 6 of, and we can use the product of these two, which is t times x squared equals 4. So I'm almost out. I won't go to the next page, I'll just do the rest here. So now I can use that same concept here. I'm going to change from log form to index form. So I know that the base is 6. So I can say that 6, this is the power to the power 4, is equal to tx squared. T x squared. So it says linking t with x, we can say t is equal to 6 to the power 4 over x squared. So if we do 6 to the power 4, that gives us 1,296 over x squared. That's the equation linking t with x. t equals 1,296 over x squared. All right, so a relatively simple question, just based on your understanding of straight line graphs and how to relate them to these, um, you know, log terms. All right, so we made our equation, we substituted x equals 2 on 216 in it and found what t is. So you need to know your laws of logarithms to answer this question properly, but it's pretty straightforward, six marks. Um, nothing really too difficult about that question. Um, so that concludes question number uh, two from the June 2023 P3 paper from Edexcel International A-Level. Other questions from this particular paper can be found um, in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from the topic of uh, logarithms from P3 can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And if you watch the video that will show in the link over here, it will tell you how to use or show you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for in an efficient manner. Thank you for watching and see you soon.